Welcome back to Loudmouse, the only podcast where FPS Diesel gets away with being 30 minutes to an hour plus late every recording. I'm your host, Quite, joined by Wild Fat, a.k.a. Brandon. Hi. In, That's in, insulting. Fucking FPS Diesel. I am very insulted, Jesus. Oh, it's almost like it's true. <laughs> Whoa, I was here at 8.30, but you fuckers were sitting around being like, oh... You were deafened in the fucking now. call. You fuckers were sitting around. I, you didn't hear what he told Diesel. I enjoyed the call Diesel. and I was working and I assumed you guys were working on other stuff. So you didn't yeah, ask. You didn't even you have topics. You assumed. <sighs> yeah, Diesel. <laughs> Diesel, you, 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 get here, you get here at the 8.30, which is the time that you updated us on, right? Perfectly fine. But then when you get in the call, no topic list. <laughs> no topic list and you don't say a single word. And you're deafened, so we can't ask you anything. Are you going to speak? I, uh, I <laughs> just sigh. To say. Sigh. <laughs> no words, Hobson. Uh, anyways, the first dr- this first topic in the list, out of like many music themed topics this episode, is uh, Drake versus Pusha T. Have either of you been following that beef like I have? I have I've no heard- idea. Okay, the only thing I've heard is Drake has a kid, and that's it. <laughs> I oh. don't even know if that's accurate. Okay, so on Pusha T's most recent album, we talked about it like a, a couple episodes back, I think, but like on his most recent album, um, he uh, he threw some shots at like fucking Drake, Lil Wayne, Birdman, which is like like they're like their whole crew, right? And uh, Drake like responded with a pretty fucking solid track, right? Like he um he uh, said some stuff about Pusha T that like were pretty true and stuff, and then Pusha T just came right the fuck back alleging that drake had a son and that he was a fucking deadbeat dad because he wasn't letting his uh his son come home and then he wasn't taking care of his baby mom damn yeah and like supposedly like he fucking like knew this because both him and drake are like assigned with adidas and like drake was going to um reveal it like his <laughs> adidas son. told him like I, I, that's that's what i've heard i don't know how true that is but apparently adidas the company adidas the company like it's not them, Adidas, like, the shoe company or them. the sports company. Someone in them. Okay, I just find it funny to think like a whole fucking company just ratted out Drake. <laughs> yeah. I, it was probably like a person, if that's even the case. But like supposedly he was like, um, Drake has like a plo- a clothing brand come out called Adidon, and um, the name of Pusha T's diss track to him was the story of Adidon. But like, and he was his son was supposed to be part of like the modeling campaign for that, and that's how he was going to reveal that he had a son. But I've also heard, like, apparently oh. other sources say that, like, he has been taking care of his kid and his wife, or, like, his, um, like, the person he had a kid with, and, like, he's been financially supporting her. I mean, like, yeah, he'd, he'd have to financially support her. Yeah. And, like, why the fuck wouldn't he? He's rich. Like, the, yeah, the dude's I mean, like, rich as fuck. Yeah, Pusha T said that, like, he's a deadbeat, and, like, I don't know, like, how, um, fucking uh, accurate that is, because, honestly, like, who knows about, who, who knows what Drake's doing in his, like, private life. Well, he's playing Fortnite with Ninja. Yeah. He's taking money away from the poor people. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, quite, you made a video ask, on that. Drake's stealing money from homeless people. What? With all that said, what? Quite. I gotta know. <laughs> quite. Quite was murdered. Quite. Did Quite just die? I quite think he did. Died. Rip. Cool. Hey, Diesel, what do you want to talk about? Um, let's let's talk about let's talk about anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have to say about anime? <laughs> um, you need to watch more anime. Oh my god, what fucking anime? Um, what anime? Hmm, that's a that's a good question. Hmm, you need like a normal anime. How about anime. this? How about this? I'll watch an anime with you. I'll watch a couple episodes to one in LA with you. Okay. Sounds really cute. Okay. Sounds like we'll get nice <laughs> It's a date. <laughs> okay. That's that's weird considering. <laughs> yep. That's really weird and it makes me uncomfortable. But I will it's do okay. it anyway. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know how long I could stop for quite. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, Maybe his man. power went out. His power went out? Is there a storm Her- in his box? I have no idea. Oh, but like, he, 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 his Discord light lit up. He's alive. What the fuck? Dude, like, he he got cut off, too. At, like, a cliffhanger. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, quite. Oh, you continue. <laughs> okay. So, with all of that being said, who would you guys uh, say is winning the beef as stands? I have no fucking idea. I mean, like, it sounds like Pusha's kind of talking out of his ass. To an extent, you know, because it's like there's other sources saying the contrary. So I don't know. It sounds more like Drake. Diesel, um, your input. How can I give input on something that I have no bearing on whatsoever? Pick a side, push or Drake. Go. Um, Drake because he played Fortnite with Ninja, and Fortnite is a video game that I know. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'd say push is winning. Well, we don't care. 
Oof. Well, on to our next music-related topic. <laughs> so Kanye West recently dropped an album, and we're not going to talk about the album at all, but rather the fact that he decided to fly out a shit ton of people to Wyoming just to listen to it, and he took his album cover on the way to that fucking listening party. And, like, he literally Can just, I just wrote, say... like... With- yeah, wait, wait. Can I just say one thing about a song? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so in in Kanye West's song "Yikes" on that album, um, there's a, there's a point in the song where he just goes like, "eh," and I think it's funny. That's it. <laughs> That's all I had to say. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the fucking cover of his, but the fucking cover of that album, he literally took on his iPhone on the way to the listening party, and then he wrote, "I hate being bipolar. It's awesome" on the fucking cover. That sounds like him. I mean, like life of. Pablo was shit. <laughs> That's a shit. No, nah, I thought I love I, I love that album cover. Nah, but <laughs> no. bro, it was like hella aesthetic, bro. Come on, it was a good meme, but it wasn't a good album cover. It's nothing compared it's to Scoop de Poop. It really isn't Scoop de Poop. That's the best thing. Scoop de Poop's did. album cover was literally just a screenshot of a like a wave file. Yeah, I I love how the articles about him taking a picture of the album cover on the way to the listening party is they specify it to fucking iPhone. It's like, it makes me think that Apple might have paid for that. That wouldn't surprise me. That that really wouldn't surprise me, Because it actually. seems like that's what it is. I mean, Samsung has kind of been destroying Apple when it comes to advertisements recently. So it wouldn't surprise me that if they do something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just think it is because I feel like it's kind of like, why is this the part? Why is this added in? It's like, oh, Kanye took a picture on his phone and used it as album cover. Like... You could just say that. Why do you need to specify as an iPhone? That's SEO. Weird. Yeah. SEO. No, you're probably. I mean, like, even. No, no. Not I- really. I think Diesel's right. I think Apple probably paid for that. Yeah. I don't know. I that w- makes the most sense. I don't know. Would they really want the publicity from Kanye West? Well, it wouldn't be blatant. Like, it wouldn't be like Kanye being like, hey, I'm sponsored. It'd be subtle, you know? So, like, no yeah. one's going to be like, oh, Kanye sponsored. Uh, Apple's endorsing Kanye. It's going to be the opposite. They're going to be like, Kanye uses Apple, you know? Yeah. It is, it so is it's very like, clear. I don't know. Does it say that he tweets from an iPhone? Um, I'm pretty sure he I'm does. I'm assuming like, all of the he screenshot- tweets from an iPhone? All of the screenshots like, that he takes that he tweets out have been on an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he his, uh, he uses an iPhone. He probably is, like, uses his an iPhone driver. before that. So it might be SEO stuff. It's kind of hard to determine, but I just find it... Like a weird little addition to the article that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, it's like with movies, for example. There's like the shot and it's just like Coca-Cola. It's like, that's paid. <laughs> you know, oh, that's yeah. a sponsorship. I, I for, It was the first Transformers movie with Mark Wahlberg, but there is like literally a Transformer that's like a Bud Light truck, right? And then the oh Bud Light God. truck crashes and all the Bud Light is everywhere. And Mark Wahlberg opens up the Bud Light on a car and takes a drink of it. <laughs> So that basically, Bud Light sponsored the Transformers. I mean, that's one of the things. It was also How a Transformer many... that transformed into an Oreo car. Yep. I was this it? Was this in the movies? Y- yes. It was like I forget which movie. Oh no, this is Man of Steel. I'm miss. I'm Mex- Mexican. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, this is Man oh, of Steel. Lord, I'm really I'm tired. Steel, up like, like, I'm Mexican the IHOP, <laughs> and then the Seven Eleven, and then the fucking like. Just every, like, fucking chain imaginable. Yeah, it was Man of Steel. They literally threw, like, um, one of the soldiers threw, like, a fucking IHOP. And it's very clearly that they're inside an IHOP. And it's like they landed right in an IHOP commercial. Um, but then, like, <laughs> what is it in, uh... God, Transformers, I know, had the same thing where, like, a pivotal, like... Pi- I can't sp- I can't speak today. I ha- I'm dyslexic. Um, you also showed up late. Th- thank you, Brandon. <laughs> M- Mr... Why you're fat? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm pretty well, sure there's a Mountain fat. Dew car in Transformers as well. Just look up Mountain Dew car Transformers here. One second. Mountain Dew car Transformers. Let's see. I don't remember any of this, so. I mean, I barely remember the Transformers movies to begin with because they all are the same. Is this it? Oh, there's a. Oh no, it's not a Mountain Dew. It's like it's mood something. I can't read it because it's upside down. Mellow yellow? <laughs> is it mellow yellow? No, nah, it's mood something. Mood Here, I'll link swings. the Amazon. Wait, no. What the fuck is this? What? Brandon's discovering Here, I'm the whole linking new it. world. Yeah, it's on Amazon. It's, it's a toy. It's it's fucking $50. There is a just... Transformers toy that is also branded. That is very clearly a <laughs> Mountain Dew. It's very Dew. clearly Mountain Dew. Yeah, but it's not. It's parody. So it's like, they, they didn't have to like... 
buy the rights, I guess. Okay, this is a custom trip. There's no way this is real. Are you There's sure? There's no way. Oh, we have to play Pictionary now. Oh my god. We keep doing that, and people keep going, uh, like, you need visuals. You, you're not yeah, putting guess visuals. What? You're not getting visuals. <laughs> Diesel, it also doesn't help that you keep putting it out. I, I just, you know, just gotta keep the meme alive. Uh, second of all, this Transformers toy is $54. Yeah, I said that. Oh, I That's didn't actually hear you. a pretty standard price for a toy. Toys are fucking expensive. This is a yeah, they standard they price for a toy? What action People figures are you buying these days? Quite dude, toys are fucking... Dude, Nintendo Labo is like $100 for cardboard. Yeah, but like, that's <laughs> Nintendo Labo. It has... No, but like, the, dude, these things like cost like a shit ton all the goddamn time. Like, because they know people will buy This is just a Transformer. Why do you think Toys to, R Us went out of business? Their toys weren't no, this expensive. These Transformers no, are like... There's one here that's $100. Dude, you, you have not been to Toys R Us in a long, long time. Hold that's on. Expensive there, as fuck. No, like, I could understand a Transformer being $15, but not $100. Come on. Dude, Diesel. they fucking cost that much. Like, it's you know how much like Legos cost? Time. Yeah, but not even Legos cost $54. You guys are crazy. There's, yeah, they like, do. I can't believe you are justifying. Legos cost $54. Legos cost hundreds of dollars. If you want to get a, a, Diesel, if you want to get a fucking, get a Star Wars ship, right? Like like a medium-sized Star Wars ship. That's going to run you like $40 to $60 Lego. So, yeah, okay, it is but like, expensive. You, think about like the size difference. This is like what? This is a seven inch tall like transformer. Yeah. But like, dude, the reason they cost so much is because they know there's a fucking market for it. Yeah. Okay. We still we still need to play Pictionary, this, okay? This is like the collector's market. They're, like Timmy, Timmy nine-year-old isn't going out and buying a $54 transformer, guys. Come on. Yeah, but the yes, parents are. The parents fucking the are. Parents the parents are buying that they're... for their nine year Bullshit. You think the pa Yes, they are. What the you fuck? You are you full of baloney. Are... Wrong, 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 No, wrong. parents are absolutely no, buying this There is a wrong. very clear disparity in this. This is not... This is a rare transformer, which is why it's so expensive. That's the only reason I could see that. Unless no. we had like a see, shortage I, of plastic I, I in the last give you the prices. six months. I would give you the prices of transformers on Toys R Us, but they're bankrupt, so the prices aren't there anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> but like, this yeah. is like fucking like, if you want like a crappy little like one that looks like it'll break if you touch it the wrong way, it's 15 bucks. Yeah, like diesel, like. like these toys, like, are usually expensive, and parents buy them for their kids because kids will hate their parents if they don't fucking get them what they want. Yeah, this one's 30. Diesel? This is ridiculous. These aren't toys for children. What is but this? this what, the, you these the have to be expensive. Toys? These have to be expensive for the same reason that Amiibos got expensive. No, okay, they are definitely artificially inflated or inflated to an extent, right? But still, toys like this are expensive. I guess and they're very common to be expensive dirt. like that. I look. I look. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in a Toys R Us. We still Rust. haven't described the fucking well, car. Well, I think the, the, the larger issue here is that you guys, for some reason, think it's okay for a transformer to talk. Cost Wait, no, we didn't. Say, we didn't fucking say no, that. We said we it's pretty say normal. It's okay. We that said it's not normal. normal. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is, is normal. normal. This is exactly what happens with all these fucking toys, Diesel. What the? Where the hell have you been? What Legos did you buy as a kid? What the fuck? I never. Never did my that toys cost That shit drained my fucking- my, That okay. shit drained my allowance so fucking hard. We need to describe the Transformer, okay? The Transformer looks like an armored truck from GTA with a shitty Mountain Dew parody logo on the side of it. There we go. Yeah, in the movie, he's a vending machine. But for some reason in this, he's a truck. Like, Rip. okay, you guys are saying that these- these bad boys, they cost, like, f upwards of $54, right? No, we're saying that this is not abnormal. For toys. This is, like, $17, $18 accurate price for a Transformer toy. But that one looks, that one looks, like, worse. What do you mean? It's it looks the same, it's just red! It looks, it looks poopy. It looks I think you guys poopy. just think it looks better because it says $54 next to it. I think you're projecting, nah. Diesel. No, no, I am not. I mean, I'm projecting as in I'm talking loudly. But if you talk loudly, that means you're smart. You see, I think me and Brendan <laughs> won this Spongebob argument. That's the Spongebob meme. No, the only reason you won this argument is because you're like, Oh, don't you see what's in toy stores? And because I'm a grown adult. Hold on, you two are grown adults too. You haven't been in a toy store Hey, I am years. not a grown adult yet. I've never <laughs> okay, been to a month. fucking toy store. I, I live I in a box, 20, I have 20 days. You don't need to go to diesel. a toy store to know this shit. Like, like, when was the last time you bought an action figure? Never! I live uh... in a box! <laughs> 
Well, for me, a very long time ago. Yeah. So how how expensive do you think that action figure cost? Um, I would pay honestly if that was like new and not vintage, it's probably cost thirty. So thirty. Yes. Y'all are fucking bananas. <laughs> Diesel. Toys are expensive. Thirty seems no. Standard. This is crazy. This is crazy. You guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> this toys is are absolutely expensive. insane. This makes no sense, and it's not like I can run out to a toy. We're not wrong. talking about this from like a, like what they're actually worth. We're talking about what we expect them to be charged. What? It, okay. What? I expect because based to be off of like what, for Transformers, fifteen dollars. You're fucking. You're, I don't know what you're using as a fucking like baseline. I'm just like remembering what's in a toy store, and I'm going like. There's no way a Transformers action figure off the shelf right there is going to be $50. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah my ass. No, yeah. <laughs> You're getting really heated over this. <laughs> no, no, because you guys are so wrong. You were like, this is not the accurate price for a Transformers toy. Like, there's something wrong with you if you think it's okay. I don't think it's okay, but it's normal. No, it's not. That's crazy. What the fuck? Do, no, do I think it's okay to sell Lego for, like, fucking, uh, you know, hundreds I, of I dollars? I think Lego can no. justify a higher price tag based off of why, the, like... Why can, why can plastic fucking bricks justify a higher price tag? Because there's more functionality with them. You build them, and they sit... On a desk. Well, that's what grown men do with their Legos. I'm talking about children who play with yeah, their Legos. Yeah, I guess you could, like, take them apart and apply them to other things. Yeah, th there's more functionality, so I can justify, like, buying a Star Wars Lego X-Wing you, you can justify, right, you can justify. You can justify spending $500 on a fucking Death Star Lego kit. Not $500 on a Death Star Lego kit. Is that thing $500? Because exactly. then I'm also going to have a flipping shit after. Yes, it is. Jesus. Okay, and, th and that's prime. <laughs> like th this is not vintage. This is like a retail, being made Star Wars Lego kit. Five hundred dollars for the Death Star. That is a very elaborate Lego. Five hundred dollars, Diesel. Okay, I could I could see this one being justified, but there's no way in hell you can justify a Transformer Diesel? costing as much as a new game. I could buy a GTX 1080 Ti right now. For $500. And you're telling me that's justified. It's fucking pieces of plastic made in a factory. Okay, if we're talking if we're talking production, yeah, that thing shouldn't be $500. Exactly. But I could understand an argument for the Death Star. Like... I mean, see, if the Death Star was $50, I'd say, okay, that's a really fair price. <laughs> but... but <laughs> Even if the but, even if the Death Star at a hundred dollars is a really fair price, uh, no, but I would say one like, fifty is a, a fair price for that. I could buy a video game that gives my child sixty hours of entertainment versus one Transformer who like he could play with it one day and then never touch it again. My hypothetical bro, this, this, child, I'm not a parent. Bro, this Death Star, co this Death Star costs more than a Bay hoodie. <laughs> that Death Star costs more than my fucking graphics card. Like seriously, <laughs> same. <laughs> like my graphics card's a 1070. It's, it's cheaper than that. <laughs> like you okay, can buy diesel. a set of a thousand Lego bricks for thirty dollars. Yeah, but like they're not special Lego bricks. They're different colors. Yeah. They're yeah, but normal you can Lego bricks. Do anything with those. You can make anything. There is more. Like when I think of good toys for kids, there's more functionality in that Lego kit. Diesel, which helps kay. justify the price tag. Diesel, fifty-four dollars for the Transformer. Yes, it's higher than average, right? But thirty to like thirty to twenty—that's pretty average to spend for a Transformer. Maybe twenty max. Yes, twenty-five max. No, thirty. If you went no. to the store, I guarantee you, you'd find a fucking action figure. Well, for all the toy stores are closed now because everyone yes, uses because Amazon. Yes, no one buys toys because they're also fucking expensive. <laughs> I feel like and toys have gone from a children's online, thing it's to like a niche shopping, thing, isn't it? It's yeah, that, all that doesn't help either. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't even see kids these days play with toys to begin with. No, everyone plays video games now. Yeah. Or like tablets, especially younger ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like tablets are super tablets. fucking common. Like, they have, like, they, they sell, like, you know, like, $100 fucking tablets that are, have, like, a super shitty UI and stuff for the kids. Yeah, they're they specifically they made for kids, and they're, like, big yeah. and bulky so they can fling them around. Yeah, and if they drop, it doesn't break, which is weird because you think you'd want it to break, so they buy yeah. more. I don't know. Just, I, I just mean, like I can even I can even justify the price tag for Nintendo Labo because I was looking into it, and that thing is pretty fucking complex. I was no Nintendo Labo is interesting because it's like no one's really taking into account that like you get the game with it too, and like the game costs a certain amount, you know. Mm. So it's like you get the cardboard and you get the game. So 
I it makes sense, especially like the robot one. I could definitely see a kid really enjoying that. But like, how many times are they actually going to use it? You know, uh, like, the it, it's to get kids into things like engineering and like building and stuff. Uh, yeah, you're so, right. Like, I I think it's really so I have heard theorized that like Nintendo Labo could end up being in schools the same way that uh, we got like edutainment games in schools to, like play. That because would not surprise me. of where our society's moving, Nintendo Labo would benefit those kids a lot. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like, because it's like with VR, for example. I haven't put it on my VR headset for a good while. <laughs> and it's like, that thing was expensive. Like, I don't regret the purchase, you know? But it's just like, I haven't felt like putting it on and actually playing in VR. Like, when I first got it, I synced a lot of hours in it. Like, the first week, I probably got, like, 15 hours in VR. 15 to 20, depending. Because it's just like, it was yeah, new. Yeah, same. But... But nowadays, I'm just kind of like, VR, eh, it, it's a pain. <laughs> you know, it's a pain in the ass. If I had a big room, and, like, there was almost no limitations in my room, and I could just use my computer right here, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But it's the fact that I have to put the VR in a different room to play some games that's really annoying. Mm. But yeah, I, I mean, it's just kind of inconvenient to set it up and take it down. Because I have the PSVR, yeah. but... I mean, like, I have I have mounts set up in here for the HTC Vive, but it's like, it, I just don't have enough room to play most of the games. Like, I got Beat Saber, but I still haven't played it, even though I've heard really good fucking things about Bro, it. Bro, I've seen it. It looks so fucking tight. Yeah, it looks really fucking fun. And then, like, oh my god, the fucking, oh my god, HTC and Valve, dude. The Vive Pro. 800 fucking dollars. What were they thinking? No, it's more than that. It's fucking more than that. What were they thinking? Diesel, did I mean, you look at this like at all? It was like 1200 to start. It was like 1200 for everything you'd need. Yeah. Like 1200 fucking dollars. Like to put that in perspective, you can get the HTC Vive, like the normal one. I think 500 right now with everything. Yeah. $500 for everything with the no the normal HTC Vive, right? If you want to get VR and you want to like get a Vive, do not get the Vive Pro. It is a fucking rip off. Like, straight up, a fucking ripoff. Only thing I did was change the color, make the resolution better, and add better audio. If it was the same price, totally worth it, or a little bit higher. But nah, it's not worth it. Especially when Facebook's working on a better Oculus already. Like, for example, they, they recently released uh, Oculus Go, which is a standalone VR headset. Um, but the resolution was, like, really impressive on it. Um, I'm trying to find it. It was really impressive for what it was. But, let's see. I can't find oh. the resolution. I think it was the same as a Vive. I think it was 2K. So it, it was a high resolution in comparison to the fucking Vive. So. Well, there goes one sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. we're going to get sponsored by fucking Valve or HTC. Have you ever seen someone sponsored by Valve or HTC? No. No. Yeah, I haven't either. Especially Valve. Valve's pretty to themselves. I heard Valve's working on uh, VR games exclusively. Or not exclusively, but like... 3 is going to be a VR game. It's coming out, That guys. would be amazing. That'd be I don't, even, I don't ever think they can release that game. Yeah. Because, like, if they did release it, everyone would just be like, it's not what I thought it would be, or... It would never you know. live up to the hype. Yeah, because it's... <laughs> Half-Life 3 meme has just been recently dying down, so... Make it live again. Breathe new life. It's never going to... I don't think they're ever going to come back with it. All right, what's our next topic, Quint? Uh, the next one was Ali A's intro music meme review. Do you think Ali A likes transform to Transformer toys? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I bet he'd pay $50 for a Transformer diesel. Okay, first of all, he has his own comic book with a self-insert, so... You're kidding. Uh, yeah, what? I said if I, re if I reached 30k by the end of June, I will do a book review of his children's book. I didn't which... know it was his book. I thought it was, like, a fan-made book or um, something. No, it's official. Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> He uh, okay. he released it. He's like with the book publisher. I don't think he wrote it, obviously, but it's Ali A is, okay. a, is a superhero. How close are you to thirty k by the end um, of June? Like, I'm at like twenty one. You're twenty one k. Yeah. So you have to get nine k subs by the end of June. Mm -hmm. Diesel, I really hope you get thirty k by the end of June because I want to watch you review that book. Yeah, I, a lot of people were like, "We need to get on the thirty k right the hell now," so that way he can <laughs> review this children's book. Which, I don't know why people are so excited for that, but okay, sure. Because it's such a big fucking meme. It's really, like, I was reading the synopsis for the book, and I'm like, this is really just as bad as, I like, you'd imagine. Damn. Like, really he turns into person. Iron Man with a metal cap. You know, oh just like he wears a hat. God. Like a metal baseball cap? Yes. D does his music play in the book? Like, when you open it, does it, like, play? No, but his dog is his sidekick. That's really Wait. cute. I can approve Oh that. my god, I just, I just opened that fucking link you put quite 
God damn nice. it. That was ear rape. It's also, it that's the rape? intro. Yeah, that's the intro. So oh, the meme is, the with, yeah, the meme with Ali A is it's like, all his videos start out like, oh my god, and then like that music plays. That's, <laughs> that's really it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, so like you could literally put that footage in front of anything. Uh, or like after anything, it just makes it ten times funnier. Like, uh, give me an example, Diesel. What um, what would you put in front of that intro? I would put a. I would put a. Like, <laughs> okay, so it's right before the guy gets beheaded on an ISIS body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I was gonna and say something slightly more no, 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 no. It's the it's the it's the beheading, right? And it's just like a it's like a video of it, and then like Alia's face cams in like the right hand corner. He's like, you will not believe this, and it's plays the intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'd put Dr. Disrespect admitting that he cheated on his wife before it. Oh! oh. oh. And That's then Ali A is just like, oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. I mean, what else can what else can we be with the Ali A intro? <laughs> oh man, I hope people could actually put, turn You could put uh this. the clip of me calling Brandon Fat and him freaking out right before it. <laughs> Oh, I really like that. That's or the that or the works, intro where I shoot everybody and get their uh, Twitter suspended. You could do that too. I had quite enough self references. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I just want everyone to make memes of me. Is that what he said? Diesel, no, you physically ask said. people to make this is America memes about you. Not about me, just in general. Diesel. Yeah. I mean, Dude, most asking, of them weren't about me. Asking people to make memes is amazing because they actually do it. <laughs> I know it's great. <laughs> Diesel's trying to hey, insinuate guys, that I'm doing it guys, with a dastardly make, intention, and I don't appreciate that. The only intention make, is to get the Ali A intro in there. Hey, everybody, make a bunch of Ali A memes and tweet them at at loudmouse underscore on Twitter. <laughs> 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 we'll, if they're we'll too fucked up, we're not going to retweet them. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't make them too fucked up. Uh, but we'll leave them down below. Uh, we'll leave the, the song or the snippet that we use down below. So you can just yeah. nab it. <laughs> Oh, man. What else? What else could you mean with the Ali intro? So much, so many things, so many. Things. Any tragedy, any tragedy would make it. Fun. I've already seen nine eleven. I was about oh to say nine eleven. Yeah, oh I've already God. seen that. I've no. already seen that done so much. I've seen it done so much already. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, it oh, is. I was about to say one that I can't say on on cast. I'll say it after. <laughs> Thanks. That's the thanks best. for the cliffhanger. You, no, you leave um, us with the cliffhanger. The viewers, the cliffhanger. This is awful. <laughs> we shouldn't. We shouldn't uh, call it meme review. If this is a segment now, uh, we should call it meme recollection. <laughs> since I already have meme critique. What? This isn't going to be a segment. Call it meme it's, a, it's just a topic. Meme. Why can't we call it meme review? Because We're the PewDiePie only podcast on YouTube. PewDiePie no, stole it from Anthony PewDiePie, Who cares? PewDiePie is not a podcast. We're PewDiePie the only podcast. He's not a podcast. Therefore, we can use meme review because he's not a podcast. Ah, it's a different genre. I get it. I get it. Exactly. So, uh, welcome to the new segment that we never talked about existing before. We're probably, maybe, never going to do again. Meme review. <laughs> <laughs> T- today we reviewed Ali A intro meme. We give it a a meme out of ten. <laughs> Any other thoughts? <laughs> um, uh, no, I'm going to copy nothing. strike PewDiePie and then Ali oh, A. <laughs> I love the I love like PewDiePie's version where it's just like PewDiePie and it's with the same music. <sighs> okay. okay ne- next topic in the final music one in my section is fucking uh, the recommendations from the last episode where it was just us three. So for anybody who forgot, I recommended I I D K Dog Love Kitty with Mother Mary Gold, Love Gold Lore by SZA featuring Travis Scott, and Campfire by Amine featuring in- featuring Injury Reserve. And Diesel, Diesel, what did you, you recommend? And uh, I recommended Watsky's Don't Be Nice, Nefex Rumors, and Wax Rosanna. Okay, so I go first with my opinions because this, this segment's supposed to make me musically cultured or something like that. Uh, <laughs> so for the first one, uh, for Quite, um, Dog Love Kitty with a Mother Mary Gold. I thought it was okay. It, it wasn't my type of rap at all. Um, I really wouldn't listen to that on the regular. Um, Love Galore. Um... I didn't like it. It was way too slow. It just it didn't feel like I, I'd listen to it ever. Um, campfire. Um, it was okay. It, it wasn't my type of rap, so I. Eh. Uh, Watsky, don't be nice. Um, I'm surprised I didn't hear that before because I have Watsky on my playlist and it was really fucking good, so I put it on my playlist. Um, Netflix rumors. 
I surprisingly like that one, Diesel. Really? Which, yeah, which I wasn't expecting. I, re- I was really surprised that I liked that one. Uh, and then Rosanna, I didn't like that one. Wax so. is funny. You're uncultured. <laughs> it, it, okay, it, it's like Lil Dicky type music. I don't put most of Lil Dicky type music on my playlist. So, like, That's it was true. okay. Okay, understandable. Like, the only one I put in was Let Me Freak. And then I think, no, actually, it's just Let Me Freak. Because that one's like has a really good beat. So, okay, you guys' turns. Diesel, you go first. Okay, so IDK, I liked... I think Brandon's opinion is factually incorrect. What do you uh, mean? I, I li- it, my opinion was an opinion. I said not my type of rap. How is that factually incorrect? Diesel. <laughs> um, anyway. <clears throat> Fuck you. <laughs> Love Galore was also pretty good. Um, it's more like baby making music. It's not really hype music. Um, in my opinion. So, I mean, it, it's playlist worthy, but but not a gym playlist worthy. If you, if you catch my <laughs> drift. Oh, yeah. Winky Gym boy wink. over here, um, and then the the last one, I, I uh, campfire. I could barely listen to. I didn't. I did not like. No likey. Wow. Okay, hoodie man, your turn. Okay, so class. I'm gonna start from the bottom up because I'm I'm special and I have nothing else going for me but being different. Um, but wax Rosanna by wax. I wasn't a big fan of either. It was fine. Uh, Rumors by Netflix. I it like it was it it, it slapped decently hard. Slapped decently hard. And uh, Watsky, don't be nice. I, I just, I don't know. I, I can't get into Watsky. You don't like Wa- you don't like Watsky, period. Like, it's not that like, I don't like him. Like, he's very technically solid, and it seems like he has, like, Well, yeah, you, you, you just don't, you just can't listen there's to just, it. There's just something about his delivery that I can't get past. Like, it's got, like, a fucking, um, I don't know. It just reminds me of, like, rap you'd hear about photosynthesis and bi- biology. <laughs> I, 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 like, honestly, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I could see that. I mean, like, I had I had friends in high school who were like, because like E double, and it was just like, oh, I can't get an E double. It's like, why? It's like I just can't tolerate his delivery. And I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. You know, like, like he. But don't get me wrong. Like, he's very technically solid. Like, he's got a lot of. He's got like some pretty sick flows. It seems like his uh, a pa- like he's passionate and good at like delivering his lines. It's just like his voice in general. Like, I just can't get past his Oof. voice. Just reminds me of my biology teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of but, fucking. But, did you have like a rapper as your fucking biology teacher? No, but like you know how they show like uh videos of like fucking like kid like people rapping like the fucking process of photosynthesis to help you remember yeah. some bullshit? Like stuff like that. Where what do you guys learn in school? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Don't say you guys because it's him. I we had shitty, you know, fucking Science rap too, but like the flow is nothing like Watsky. I never had any. Not, of not, that. No, no, no. The flow, the flow Wait, is really? not what's like Watsky. The no, it's not like I went like into Watsky. class and the substitute teacher was like, "Okay, like today f- we're gonna watch Vanilla Ice rap we're about talking, photosynthesis." We're talking like middle school. We're not talking high yeah, school. Yeah, like middle school, maybe Either freshman. Or, I don't know. I can't even remember. Really? But fucking, but fucking like it's um the delivery is like it, the flow is not what's like Watsky. Like I said, Watsky is a pretty sick flow. But um, it's like the delivery, delivery, like just his voice, like the voice is what fucking. <laughs> Poor Watsky. Oh. Can't, he can't even change that. You're pulling him for it. Yeah, no, it's I don't. He's I'm Jewish, not, isn't it? I'm, it's just not for me. Uh-huh. Okay, we <laughs> we could. We all said a piece about the music. Yes. Yeah. Okay, into the next topic. YouTubers are turning kids fat. <laughs> and Diesel, I saw <sighs> that you uh you made a video about this. <laughs> yeah, I did make a video about this. <laughs> um, so basically, there was an article um by Mirror. Uh, mirror.co.uk uh, a lot of the uk websites for the media are garbage by the way um especially i think it's the sun correct is that what it is well the sun's a pretty reputable news so like source over there but over here they talk about like bigfoot and ufos and crap uh, okay um anyways uh basically um <laughs> this article is accusing people like zoella right fucking zoella of increasing the um obesity rate among children which if you're gonna accuse anybody, why not accuse like Trisha Paytas, for example, who like all her content revolves around her eating food? <laughs> like, it, it like Zoella was such a weird fucking choice to accuse of making people overweight. Um, Diesel, what what was the reason that okay she was accused? So there was a research study done that looked at social media influencers, like the influence they had over children's eating habits. So yep. they separated into three groups. One group had uh, social media influencers that were promoting unhealthy foods. The second group was uh, social media influencers that were promoting healthy foods. And the last got neither. 
Um, so that was a control group. So the ones that were getting unhealthy foods promoted to them ate on average 448 more calories more than the group that was promoted healthy That foods. That is a big fucking difference. I, it's really not that much of a big difference. I mean, if you eat 448 calories more in a day, who's to say that that's not like compensated later and you're fuller later so you don't eat as much for the rest of the day? Or it's hard to tell because uh, they don't link the fucking study. They just say there was a study. Oh, that's um, great. So I don't know if it's 448 over the children's average or it's just 448 extra for watching the video because like they watched the video and wanted to get a snack i i assume it's the average that i mean i hope so but it's almost like i can't tell because they don't link the fucking sources yeah but uh it's just weird to like put zoella in that boat like they clearly just put her in the article because they knew it would get clicks because she's lives in the uk like that's the only reason because out of all the fucking people zoella like, fucking Zoella. <laughs> like, it didn't make any sense to me. Like, the whole, oh, she's, uh, she's, she's increasing child obesity. Like, let's look at, uh, let's look at fucking <laughs> Trisha Paytas right now. Let's look at well, some of her videos. <laughs> like, like, that's, what they're arguing is really strange. They're saying that brand deals with unhealthy food companies help encourage obesity rates in kids. But all this tells me is that Oh, brand deals work well with social media influencers. You know? I mean, yeah, so, that, that makes a lot of sense because it's like, well, yeah, brand deals work really well with social media influencers because it's like, it's not just an ad. It's like an endorsement. It's an, at least it's what an it feels endorsement like. from someone you trust, quote yeah, unquote. Yeah, especially, especially when you're younger. Like, I'm sure, like, I, I look, looking back at it, like Syndicate, for example, that's the person I looked up to a lot when I was making gaming content. It's like, I really trusted everything the dude fucking said, right? Even though I really shouldn't have, I did because I, I was an easily influenced fucking child. So it's like, if you think to like, you know, like, back to when you were 12 and 13 things like that you probably looked up to a creator and really fucking trusted them you know Mm. so i could easily see that increasing your fucking obesity rate if you watch someone who eats a bunch of unhealthy shit because you're like oh that person eats that they look fine i'll look fine but like trisha paytas for example like why do you like, keep shitting on Trisha Paytas? I think she has a totally different, like, audience from Zoella. All she does is eat fucking food. That's why. Like, like I'm not, okay. Trisha Paytas, she's just kind of weird. A lot of the time it's a fucking character, right? But, like, I'm saying, if you're going to put anyone in that article that's saying increasing obesity, you should put Trisha Paytas, right? I don't, because- I don't think a necessarily unhealthy creator promotes an unhealthy lifestyle from... The research, so I've been looking into this a lot because it just kind of interests me. But one, like, it is like one third of Generation Z um, finds like they they look for validation from like creators and like, uh, oh, should I buy this product? Should I get this thing? Oh yeah, for um, sure, I do that. They're eighty four percent more likely to review, like, get watch a review before getting a product. Damn, that's really high. Yeah. So with that, um, we can see that okay. Young people clearly look to these people for, you know, their, their advice, their influence, and it, it shows the power of marketing. It seems as if their hypothesis was if social media influencers market unhealthy foods, kids will buy unhealthy foods. And then yeah. as a byproduct of getting that conclusion, they also found that that would make them eat more, but like no, no shit. So I think they're totally missing the mark and they're just saying like, oh, it raises obesity to like try and get regulations enforced because like, okay, the UK, like the UK has UK enough really pushy fucking, on that. they have enough regulations on food and drink. You have to be 16 to buy a fucking monster because yeah. there's too much sugar in it. <laughs> the pediatricians in that article were calling for regulations on the creators because they feel that there's nothing stopping them from hiding brand deals. But like since YouTube okay. is an American company... They're beholden by the laws of the FCC, which is why now in the corner, if it's a brand deal in a video, it says that this video includes paid promotion. So I don't know why that, they're forcing government the, regulation. The includes paid promotion thing is only something that I see done on um, just like I rarely see that happen. Most of the time what happens is people don't even know it exists and they still put ads on videos that have ads. All that does is turn off ads like that's really all that does. And then it says includes paid promotion. So 
it, it doesn't make any sense if you want to still I, run ads. Does it actually content. turn off ads? Yeah, it turns off ads because YouTube recognizes it. Because it's like, why would an advertiser want to advertise on a video that's sponsored and endorsed by a, a person? It completely mm. gets rid of ads. So it it's like, all that does is say includes pay promotion and then turns off ads. So you need to tell people that it's an ad, but you can do it in the description as well or top comment or in the video. You, you yeah, have to specify say, it's an ad. Unless you specify it's an ad, that's illegal. Yeah, you need to specify it's an ad. It's also against the terms of service, I think, so on YouTube now. Yeah, I don't... Because they have to follow those guidelines by the FCC so they can get in a lot of trouble, too. Yeah. So, I, I don't know why the UK would force for even more regulations. They could only just do the same thing. But it seems more... When you read that article, it seems more like, we don't want our kids to have this ever put in front of them. Like, at all. Period. Which is yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. It is weird. I mean, like, like bringing back to the reason, like, Trisha Paytas, for example, because I've just had her channel page up. The reason I bring her up as an example is because, like, she promotes, like, awful portions of junk food all the fucking time. Like, trying Domino's Cinnamon Bread Twist. She eats, like, a whole fucking box. 20 minutes. <laughs> right? And, and then boy, it's I like... I eat a whole box. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, she's doing this on... Like, it's like, all of... Um, okay, I, I'm gonna say, like, 40% of her content, realistically, is her eating food. Like yeah. forty to thirty percent is there's, her eating food. There's a lot of it that's like so. That. Like that's why it's like why bring Zoella up when like she's just a makeup YouTuber when fucking Trisha Paytas is just eating food <laughs> like <laughs> like you know it's it's like it's not like a food review it's just like I'm eating food. <laughs> so that's why that's why I brought up Trisha, Trisha Paytas. So but I don't yeah, know. I, I mean I could talk about this all day because like I. Like, my opinions and feelings on this are so complex, you know, I, I took aside 10 minutes of my day, or not even 10 minutes, it was more like 4 hours, to make a video about this and elaborate on, like, why that's ridiculous. Like, the UK wants to just, like, remove cereal mascots, because they think that encourages Oh, I heard kids. about that. They want to they they get rid of cartoon mascots, because they, yeah. they think the cartoon mascots... Um, they think it encourages kids to buy the food because it's like, oh, cartoony and shit. I think the UK needs to stop regulating so much, in my opinion. It's really bad with how well, much regulating. Well, I offered alternative solutions that would probably be better for them overall. Like, why, instead of removing the food from existence, right, teach kids about nutrition. Because, like, the way that we're taught about, at least in American schools, the way that we're taught about nutrition, awful. Awful. What an awful way to teach kids about nutrition. And then, How were you taught? Um, it was like the food pyramid where it's like, you gotta have grains, you gotta have this, you gotta have that. And oh, shit did the, like, myplate.gov stuff. Like, that stuff is so far behind the, like, exercise science and medical science that's out. My my schooling on um, health stuff with nutrition wasn't that bad. Our health class is pretty decent on it. I'm sure California, like, pushed its own kind of thing, though, because they're usually ahead of that kind of stuff. But... Usually, what happened was it's like I had I had a health class. Now the health teacher, um, she she was really nice, but like a lot of the stuff she would show was proven to be false, and I could tell she was just pushing it because she, you know, like the whole super size me documentary thing, mm -hmm. like that was proven false so fucking long ago because no one could replicate the fucking studies, like no one could. So it, it was pretty obviously fake, um, but she still showed it, um, things like that. But like it was it wasn't a bad um, nutrition course, like it wasn't that bad. At least for me. I don't know about quite. I mean, does he even leave his box? Did he have schooling? Quite. Uh, the, feelings. the information that got beamed into my head was pretty similar to what you learned in school. Yeah, so. I mean, it's for me, it was, it was pretty much the same. Like, I, yeah, but I don't know. I just think that what they're doing is a bit extreme. Like, if you don't want kids to buy the candy, how about when you go to the cash register, you put the candy that's not at the eye level of, like, an average child. Like, yeah, like, like cigarettes, for example, like, that's really, like, actually, is that a bad example? I don't know. That Anyways, is a bad example. Don't put it behind, <laughs> like, a locked cabinet. Like, you gotta be, like, 15 no, no, no. to buy candy. I was gonna, <laughs> you, no, 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 because, like, remember, um, I wasn't gonna say that, but I was saying, like, the way they taught you about cigarettes and why you shouldn't use them. Because, like, the, the schools knew that you could get them illegally, right? They knew about, like, you get alcohol illegally, weed illegally, things like that. You get that shit illegally still, right? So they had, they had systems in place to teach you why you shouldn't do that, right? So, like, for example, with cigarettes, they'd bring lungs in and show you the difference between a 20-year-old 20 20 smoker or, like, 20-year-long smoker's lungs and a normal person's lungs. And the smoker's lungs were, like, black, 
Like, they're fucking destroyed, right? And I'm saying, like, I'm not saying um, lock fucking candy behind, you know, glass boxes. What I am saying is, teach kids why they shouldn't eat Reese's or Milky Ways or Snickers. Like, teach them why they shouldn't have the unhealthy food. Don't just, you know, fucking try to limit everything, because it's going to make them want it even more. You know, if you, if you try to regulate shit, it makes people want it more. So you have to teach them why they shouldn't. Because it's like with the cigarettes, for example, it's like when I was fucking shown the lungs for it's like, hey, this is this guy smoked for 20 years. Look at his lungs. I'm like, holy shit. I never want to get near a fucking cigarette in my life. Like, I don't want black fucking lungs. You know, I don't want to get lung when, cancer um, and die. I heard like what, what was really effective in Australia is that like they would put like fucking like what it does to your body, like literally on the packets of cigarettes. Yeah, like that was. I heard about yeah, that as well. Like, I don't. Yeah, they do but that like, here too. Yeah, they do that here as well. You, you, it's like you just need to like educate people on why they shouldn't. I don't think, like the whole mascot thing. Like who who cares? Who cares if if, if Frosted Flakes is a cartoon tiger on it? Who gives a shit? You know, like God. And at the end of the day, it's the parents' responsibility. Yeah, like, like I, I I said in my video, just just tell your kids no. Why, why do you need someone else to do that for you? Just tell them, no, you can't have the candy. Like, no, Jimmy, we're not getting Frosted Flakes. <laughs> yeah. Like, why like, Why is that so hard? And, like, the people in England that inept, I mean, in America that are, were that inept, we're, like, the second most obese country in the world. Actually, we're, like, fourth now. Fourth now? That's Either that's fourth great. or third. We're, I, hey, Mexico's we're moving down first. in the world. Mexico's first. I think the UK is also up there. I think Australia... Like, let's look it up, actually, so I don't get this shit wrong and everyone's like, My country's not that fat! I'm only six! <laughs> um, top ten obese countries. Let's see. Um, uh, obesity rates by country. July 2017. This, this is kind of out of date, but whatever. Um, oh, yep, this is out of date because China... Uh, Mexico passed us a while ago. Um, shit. Oh, there we go. 2018. Let's see. Well, these... <laughs> <laughs> well, based off of this, uh, the U.S. is 12th, but it's a bunch of countries I've never heard of before. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's definitely not... Countries I've never heard of before. Yeah. Man of the world. <laughs> well, um, okay, yep, nope, I've never heard of any of these countries. So, I mean, like, that's kind of an accurate, because it's, like, percentage. It's based off for... Actually, is that right? Uh, I guess that it's would percentage be percentage of the population. Uh, yeah, I guess that'd be more accurate, but that's not that's not how the other ones were judged. The other ones were judged differently. Yeah, actually, this is how all of them have been updated. So I guess um, oh Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia seventh now. Hell yeah, we're only ninth. Okay, does Brandon sound like a robot for you? Yes, I do. You're just cutting yes. out for a second. Oh, one second. Okay, we're talking about obese countries and Discord fucked up. So obese countries. Saudi Arabia 7th. We're not that fat anymore. Go USA. Okay, what's the next topic? Actually, speaking of the next topic, we have Arab Andy. Uh, <laughs> which is not a meme, by the way. Um, so, there was this IRL streamer named Arab Andy who uh, decided to basically be a complete asshole. Um, he was walking around in the public, and he had donations on. And if you donated, I think it was $3, you, it, it would be text-to-speech. And if you donated four twenty, it would be media, right? So... He would go around in public and have speakers on, and people would donate for his basically his speakers to go off and say random shit, whatever they wanted to say, right? So what happened was is he went into a university in Washington, and one of the people donated media that was a bomb threat, and he got arrested because of the bomb threat because it was like it was a, it was a countdown, and then it was like, hey, attention, there's a bomb, there's C four planted, you have till blankety blank, and it was like a countdown, and it counted down, and then. Yeah, everyone ran screaming. It was fucking awful. Like, God, I IRL streamers for the most part, are fucking shit. Um, but uh, so he got arrested for that, and not only that, as as well, Arab Andy is just a huge fucking asshole, and, and I want to talk about him because he is what's wrong with IRL streaming. Like a hundred percent, he goes around harassing people in public. Like, you shouldn't do that. If you go around IRL stream and mind your own business, you know, that's fine. Perfectly fucking fine. But if you're going in people's faces, calling them motherfuckers, trying to aggravate them, trying to get their fucking attention, you're an asshole. Plain and simple. You know? And it's like he's going in public and he's just disturbing the peace. Like, this dude went into a college fucking campus and just started letting people play whatever the fuck they wanted. While class was in session. People pay for that. And he was interrupting. Like, that just fucked. Like, it was- it, it, God. Diesel, I'm sure you have a lot to say. You, you go. 
I mean, I I was watching it happen because like uh, what's his his Nick Nick Monroe was tweeting about it, um, and he's a pretty good journalist. So like the clip where it's like, oh, it was like C four armed. <laughs> he was yeah. standing in a room full of people and yep. blasted that on his speakers. And then they it like said something about detonation. This woman just screams and sprints out, and everybody's like starts panicking and sprints out with her. And he's like, "Oh, ooh, oops!" And then uh, the cops show up, so it's just like fifteen minutes of blackness, and they're playing like uh, bad boys, like yeah, that, like that, cops that, that theme. Part, that part was funny. That part was funny. Yeah, even and then the like... Texas speech was like saying that they're doing it because he was brown and blah 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 and all this stuff. And it was like ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and i just looked at the clip of him insulting people and oh my god i mean irl streamers are constantly getting in conflicts for the sake of views because yeah the only way you're gonna be successful is controversy yeah they know people like it and it's like the problem is it's like people will sit at home and just watch these these idiots go out and about harassing people and it's like they can donate to harass people they don't have to do it themselves you know so it's like they're they literally are using arabandi as like their face to harass people like that's pretty much it and it's like like uh, again with IRL streaming I don't give a shit if you just mind your own business and walk around town and you know just hang out with people right but when you're when you're when you're just like getting people's faces and just being a nuisance like go, go fuck yourself like stop it's just it's just fucked like people are minding their own business and you're just sitting there being an asshole like seriously god shit <laughs> quite you have any opinion like I, I hate Aravandi. I really don't. I didn't know about him till this, and it's like I looked more into him, and it's just like, God, he's such a fucking asshole. Okay, quite. You have any opinions? He bad, bro. Is that it? Wow, great opinion. <laughs> I'm yeah, so glad there was a constructive conversation and not just yeah. a tangent from me. Nice. Is, is that literally all we have to say? It's my I my mean, tangent. What, God, I don't even know what else to say about IRL streams. Honestly, I pretty, that, like all of well, them seem bad. <laughs> there's a few good ones. Um, Andy's fine. Andy Milanakis, at least from what I've seen, um, he's fine. Um. I remember Andy Milanakis met a homeless dude and he gave him his jacket and then fucking was it Burger Bandit? Was it Burger Bandit? The Burger guy who got Bandit. was it Burger Bandit? Is that what his name is? The guy who cried because Doctor Disrespect told him to fuck off. Apparently he's on the spectrum. Yeah. Well, I mean, dude, he he went up to a homeless guy and tr and bought the fucking jacket from him for like like such a low amount of money. He told him to buy okay. drugs with it or something like that. Okay. So like, fuck. That's just fuck. Period. You know, but yes, yeah, but IRL streamers for the most part, like God, they they, <laughs> the people who enter, like the people like Arab Andy, make such a bad name for the people who genuinely just want to like go around and hang out. It's so fucked. <laughs> okay, uh, speaking of IRL streamers, totally off topic by the way, because it's just awful segue. Uh, we have Reddit passing Facebook in website ranking, which was interesting as fuck because um, it is now the third most popular website in the US, which is kind of insane to think about because Google is first, YouTube is second, and now Reddit is third. <laughs> Reddit of all places. Yeah, One step I'm, closer, front page of the internet. Yeah, I didn't know Reddit was that big, honestly. So that's interesting. But yeah, Facebook's yeah, now ranked really four. Did. Yeah, oh. Facebook's now rank four. Uh, Reddit doesn't actually have the global position. Uh, Facebook still has that, but um, it's still high, and it's still impressive that Reddit has been able to pass fucking Facebook. Um, so that's really all I have to say about that. It's just interesting. Uh, and then the next, unless when do you have anything to say? Probably not. Right? No. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it's, just, uh, it's just it's changing societal priorities. Yeah. It's just, it's just interesting. Um, but the next thing is really fucking funny. So uh, there's an Indiegogo campaign for this smart lock called um, Tap Lock, right? And basically, it's a fingerprint reader, right? Sounds secure. You you scan your fingerprint um, to oh, unlock it. You, you, you scan your fingerprint to unlock it, and it can hold up to 500 fingerprints. So it's like it's a pretty decent product, right? Besides one fatal flaw. This is a really big fucking flaw, right? So the back of the lock is so fucking flimsy that you can unscrew it... Like, you can twist the back off, unscrew it with a screwdriver, and unlock it internally. Uh, you can pull the locking me mechanism out by unscrewing the back. It would take you less than 30 seconds to steal someone's fucking bike with this thing. Oh. And this raised, and this raised $330,000 on Indiegogo. And I didn't even think about that. It's it it's insane to me. How did you, just... you end up learning that uh, it has a security flaw? So there was a video um, by I need to check his channel again. I forgot his channel because I usually I I know who he is, but I, for, 
forget. Okay, Jerry rig everything. He tears down a lot of um, phones and he looks for things and he looks for things that are uh, wrong with them. And basically, he cut open the watch, uh, not the watch, the lock to see how it works. And the back fell off when he cut it open, which shouldn't have happened if you're cutting something open. It's like a secure backing, right? So then he bought another watch and he literally just twisted the back off. Like, that's all he had to do. He just twisted the back off, and then, boom, he, he could unlock the watch using a, a fucking screwdriver. Like, a, a normal Phillips head screwdriver. And he was in. And he stole... He, and in theory, he could steal someone's bike. Rip. So... Jesus Christ. I just thought that was funny, because they raised $330,000 on Indiegogo. <laughs> and, <laughs> and all the products they made are just fucking defective at this point, because they don't work properly. Um, so, that was insane to me. Um, and, yeah, the next up, we have a question. And this one's an interesting one. Um, if NASA paid you ten thousand dollars to stay in bed for ninety days, would you do it? Why or why not? Absolutely why is not. NASA doing it? They did this a while they, ago. They want to. A lot of them, like they, they've run. Te- they've actually done this test before, but it was to like test the effects of that kind of shit on a human body. Mm-hmm. Like, and I think it, it might have simulated something with space, but I don't, I don't really know. It, it was for um, space travel. But yeah, no, I would not do that. What about you, Diesel? Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. Why would not you for do 10 it? Grand. That like for ten grand, like fucking, like that's like three k, like three point three k a month, maybe. And it, you have to lay it. You have to stay in bed for ninety days straight. That sounds like shit. That's I, torture. Okay. This isn't like the masturbation question where I, I get something for doing something. Yeah, like, I, I was really, really I was really hoping nothing. one of you would say yes, so I could just start telling you like the problems with you not uh, getting out of bed. Like for example, if you stayed in bed for ninety days, your muscles wouldn't work properly, and you, would, you probably wouldn't be able to walk. They would fucking atrophy to shit. Like, that's, like, the issue with comatose patients. They, like, need to go through, like, reconditioning and shit to be able to walk again. Yeah. So, like, I, I was hoping one of you would say yes, but, like, 10 grand isn't much. Nah. What about 100K? Would you do it for 100K? Uh, still no. Like, no. still no. Like, I wouldn't there's do so much either. shit that I I'd want to do, do that, like, I couldn't because I'm contractually obligated to stay in this stupid fucking bed. Like, would not want to do that. I don't even Damn think it. I'd do it for a million. I need to find, uh... I need to find a better one next time. I was really hoping one of you could say yes. Yeah. Fuck. Sh- fuck you, Diesel. <laughs> you-, you were late, and your topic list was done last second. And it's in Comic Sans. Comic yeah, Sans no, why did you make this Comic Sans? I don't understand this. And, like, Comic your fucking Sans link sizes playful. are different. Like, one of your links is in the 8 size 18 font. One of those is in size 14. They're both in Comic Sans. I don't know. Like, seeing links in Comic Sans is not something I knew I never wanted to see. But I see. I know it is now, and it's, that's thanks to you. Look, guys. It's playful. You know Shut what it is? It's bully diesel topic. time. Okay. Anyway, so uh, my topic that I was handed to me right before the podcast started because he didn't have any topics. Oh, bully! This Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, the B Dubs got hacked. Um, so somebody hacked the Buffalo Wild Wings Twitter account and uh, said things like "fucking ninjas." I hate them. Or perhaps they made Fortnite? fun of our favorite racist Tariq wait, Nasheed. Why doesn't he doesn't like? Wait, why doesn't he like ninja? quite shut up I, I guess he's not a fan i think he likes myth better oh. yeah. um so Tariq Tariq nasheed probably blocked buffalo wild wings no tmz not, not tmz fucking tmz Tariq nasheed. Tar- Tariq nasheed actually quote retweeted it and was like this is from the official buffalo wild wings account so he's already on it so he feels that buffalo wild wings wasn't hacked by that logic that they're just being you know racist well it's funny that see like Tariq nasheed is such like a interesting character that <laughs> that he he just assumed that like buffalo wild wings would actually just attack him like attack him like that imagine thinking you have so much clout that buffalo wild wings is gonna call you a racial slur <laughs> yeah one, one second i need to find um i need to see, i need to see this let's go to his twitter account let's see let's see the quote tweet still there oh man that's 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 a rough okay time no okay no account. he he actually he did he did say, I don't know if they were hacked or not, but I'm still waiting on Buffalo Wild Wings to issue me an apology about this tweet. So far, they've been pretty quiet at Buffalo Wild Wings. The fact that this shit has... How does he have 220... Never mind. I, I, I do not I, like Tariq Nasheed. He's a fucking con artist. There are some artist. people that will comment on your videos in defense of Tariq Nasheed, and it is crazy. I have already made I've already made an entire video about Tariq Nasheed where I go over literally everything. He's a sketchy fucking dude. I will say that. He's a sketchy fucking dude. He knows how to get the women. Like, I can't say for sure that, like, he's a, he's a con artist, for example, but he's a sketchy fucking dude. Anyways, continue. He thought that Bill's, he thought that Bill Cosby was just a victim of the system because he was black. Yeah, he's, he's a, oh God. <laughs> Continue. I don't, like, I don't like him. I don't think most people like him. Tell that to two hundred twenty thousand yeah. people. Follow him. Well, there. I hope most of those are ironic. 
All the ironic follows. Steve Shy. All the ironic follows. Steve Shy says, yeah, B, B, B Dubs got hacked, and uh, they also said that Wendy's touches kids and then proceeded to call them nonces. Yeah, which is like, obviously, it means a British kid hacked them. Yeah, uh, someone, hacked someone them. who's British hacked them. Yeah. Um, they also said uh, their, their secret recipe. Apparently, Tommy has been uh, beating his wiener off in all the wing sauce. So he said that's their secret recipe. Uh, they also added a winky face to the end of that. But uh, B- B- B-Dubs got hacked and it, it, it some spicy tweets. Tommy yeah. sauce. They got deleted pretty quick. Uh, yeah. It took them like 10 minutes. So I had to screenshot them on Discord. I went to screenshot them and it was all gone. Damn. I mean, that was a good catch though. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. Okay, DC, you want to segue in the next topic? It's completely All right. Weird. So let me pull a hard 90 degree turn right here. And um, there is a game coming out. That is an active shooter simulator. Yep. <laughs> ah, ow! 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 Shit! Shit! I think I, uh, I think quite just got shot. His, that was some heavy buddy. ass whiplash. That's some whiplash from that segue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there. It, it's not an active shooter simulator, from what I was able to gather. It's kind of hard to figure out what the hell's going on here. They like, put it look in quotes. It up, and it's just like, oh, everything is shoot- shooty games. Oh, yep, okay, never mind. It is an active shooter game. It's made Why by do you Russia. keep changing the fucking fonts? I'm it's, sorry. I just it's like made by a fonts. Russian-based publisher called Acid Games. And it allows users to play as a school shooter or a SWAT member. What the fuck? This is going to be on Steam? It was. I well, I mean, they more. removed Hatred from Steam. Or is Hatred still on Steam? I think Hatred's back on Steam. I think they put it on after Backlash. Okay. Let me check. I mean... Yes, Hatred's on Steam. I think this would have been a more, like, understandable game to exist on Steam had they offered up more SWAT scenarios. Because I've been looking for, like, a tactical SWAT experience for a while. Got you. Rainbow um, Six Siege. No, not Rainbow Six Siege. I don't want to play against other people because I'm crap. You are um, crap. I think, I think I might find a way to get SWAT 4 or something. I think it's on GOG. You um, want to play World of Drift later? Sure. Anyway... <laughs> This game basically pins SWAT teams to go into a school, find a school shooter, and stop him from, you know, shooting everyone in the school. And you can play as a school shooter, you can play as a SWAT member, Mm -hmm. and boy oh boy if that isn't controversial. I mean, first of all, this is clearly done for the controversy, same thing with Hatred, right? Yeah. Um, But, I mean, I think that's pretty telling what Russians think of American society if they're making a game. Yep. about school shootings um which yep. i think is really the telling part so we shouldn't be blaming them we shouldn't be blaming video games um we should we should be a bit more um what's the word ah b- b- have some more critical thinking skills with this game i don't think we should persecute the game just because it's edgy i mean it's needlessly edgy but i think this scenario should be I able mean, to exist in a from game from what i can tell with the screenshot there's no kids in it I mean, adults. it looks like a freeware game. It looks like they just like stole a bunch of assets, plop. Yeah, them but into like the, the the one the one trend I see in games, um, from for the most part, is like they never let you kill kids, which is good in my opinion. Like most of the time, the devs have enough decency to never let let you do it. It's always adults, you know. Mm. So at least that's at least from what I can see, that's not an issue. Um, but like, wasn't there a campaign to get banned completely? Uh, yeah, that was that was the end goal is to just remove it completely, and I think that's a horrible precedent to set. I mean, yeah, as a developer, see, I don't think we should shy away from serious th- topics like that. This is the thing that this is my opinion, right? It always starts with one thing, and then once one thing happens, it happens to a bunch of other fucking things. If you ban this game, tons of other fucking games will soon be banned, all because of this game being banned. Once it happens one time, it will be a domino effect. So, as much as I, you know, I don't like this fucking game, <laughs> you know, like, this isn't something that, you know, I'd be interested in get- getting, right? It, It's like, I wouldn't ban it. Because that just is opening floodgates to ban everything that people don't like. If you don't like it, deal with it. In my opinion. I think it's how most things should be. It, it's not, it's not hurting anybody at the end of the day. It's just exist. You know? I mean, so. I think it could have been done more tastefully. Oh, for sure. Know? Like, like I said, obviously this should be a scenario that should exist in like a SWAT simulation game because mm-hmm. it happens so fucking frequently. Yeah. Um, but 
it shouldn't be the main focus of a game. Yeah. Like at all. Cuz then then that's in my opinion that would be promoting it. You know, instead of just making it a part of the game's mechanics. Yeah. Like again, I don't agree with the game. I but like I don't think it should be banned because that yeah, like, just I'm sure it's all not playing that game for yeah. enjoyment's sake. Yeah, but that's just I, I don't know who would buy it. <laughs> yeah, especially since it looks so shitty. <laughs> but like it opens the floodgates to fucking ban games for no reason. It's like it's like we ban this and like what's next? Call of Duty? GTA? You know, like it it could lead to that if you start banning games. So I don't think it should be banned. Oh yeah, okay. So that, that that's is that all we have to say about shooty games? That's pretty much all I have to say about that, yeah. Okay. Big hands, big letters. We're okay, talking about this? the good old president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Oh, that's now, a big letter. A big, he got a big letter, yes, from a big okay. man Kim Jong Un. So uh to 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 to, to fulfill a pictionary, um we have Donald Trump. Uh, who is that he's standing next to? <laughs> uh, oh, man, I want to make a really bad joke there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you going to say Kim Jong-un? No, I was going to say Jackie Chan. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I said it anyway. <laughs> well, we have we have Donald Trump standing next to a smaller man, um, and Donald Trump is holding an envelope. And it's it's from North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Um, and apparently he actually commented on this letter before he read it, saying it was a very nice letter. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, it's just a big letter. Anything else, Diesel, that I'm missing? Um, can, can we take a break for a second? I need to I need to yeah. answer a call. Okay, we'll be right back with big hands. <laughs> <laughs> Quite shut up. Welcome back to the episode of Big Letters and Big Hands. I'm your host, Wild Spartans, and FPS Diesel and Quite, and this is going to sound really weird because, um, janky. It's going to be janky. So, anyways, we were talking about big letters and big hands. Uh, what, do you, what else do you have to say about big letters and big hands? Uh, I think it's just really funny that you got a big letter. <laughs> Okay, you have it? to wonder what what went through Kim Jong Un's head when he's like, you know what, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna write it in really big. What if he, he wrote it in Comic Sans? His logic was probably like Americans like big food portions, so I give them big letter. <laughs> I hope that was it. <laughs> Where he's like, I've heard this man has big hands. I gotta, I gotta give him a big letter. <laughs> God, it's such a weird. <laughs> it's so weird. It's comically large. Oh my God, that's great. Comic Sans. Leave Comic Sans. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of presidents, we have Pokemon Let's Go to the Polls, and this game looked disappointing as fuck. <laughs> okay, I so, didn't think it was disappointing. Okay. No, I'm still excited for it. No, I'm excited for the one they have planned for 2019. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm more excited, excited for that, but like, yeah. I'm excited, because, more excited for that because it seems like an actual main series game. Like yeah, traditional. like th that. That's why I'm more excited for that one because, like, this one just uh, it just doesn't look that good. Like, it looks okay, but it doesn't look that great. Like, it looks it just looks like a, a paid extension, like a paid DLC for Pokemon Go. Uh, and then, for people, and then for people who don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Pokemon Let's Go, which was recently announced by Nintendo. Um, I think there's isn't there? Th I heard there's two versions, but I I also heard three. Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Okay, so I guess there's two. They're like, um, they're they're kind of they're based off of like the yellow special edition where like you had a Pikachu and a rival had an Eevee. But okay. It's like for me, it's like it the only mechanic it really takes for Pokemon Go is the throwing mechanics. And like I saw like the one scene where like see uh, it's Eevee also grab it, it's also super connected to Pokemon Go. Like you can put the Pokemon you get on the Switch on your Pokemon Go app, and you can like switch them around and shit. And I I just think that yeah. like the it's missing. What makes Pokemon listen, Pokemon? Listen, I saw. Uh, listen, all I needed to see was I saw this one scene of like the EV like giving its paw to its trainer, and I was like, I was fucking sold. Like that was so cute. Goddamn! Don't get me wrong, it looks nice, <laughs> but like it, 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 really cute. Okay. it looks nice. Like it's 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 a it's a nice looking game, but like. I just feel like since it's missing, like, for example, there's no wild battles. Like, you can't fight a wild Pokemon. It has to be a trainer's or another player's, which was, like, disappointing because it's, like, all that happens is you run into Pokemon and you throw a Pokeball at it. And then probably what's going to happen is, because, like, Pokemon Go, you're going to have to pay for Pokeballs because that's what they do for Pokemon Go. Why wouldn't they do it for this one? So, like, I'm not looking for that. So, overall, it looks average. Any other I opinions? Mean, I, I, I am... Excited just to have a Pokemon game on the Switch. I think they're not really taking advantage of the Switch as much as they should be. But it's a step in the right direction for Pokemon. I think I like the being able to take the Pokemon and the Pokeball and take it I for like a walk too. and stuff like that. 
yeah i like those mechanics where it like encourages different things like outside of the game uh it, it's just cool and then the pokemon go integration is actually gonna get people back into pokemon go in my opinion because like i redownloaded it so i could catch pokemon for this game granted i live in nowheresville so there's no pokemon works better if you live in a city but yeah i, I find it to be a little bit better than average um obviously the microtransactions thing could be an issue but I i'm, mean, really I'm, I'm that. gonna hope it's not gonna be that crazy I, I, or extreme i i i, I don't know dude because it's like <laughs> i've seen the revenue jumps they've had and like like to put it in perspective three years ago it was like it was something like six million dollars was the profit and then like last year it was 140 million i mean so when i lived in a city i never had to buy pokeballs yeah but people do it i just don't like having the option there like, you know, it just makes me feel like it's like, oh, I can just buy my, like, ugh. It's like, my, why? It's like I'm paying for the game already, especially when, when you're paying for it, you know? Pokemon Go is more acceptable because it's free. Um, but, like, it's like with Far Cry, for example. Far Cry 5 is microtransactions. It's not super invasive, but it's like you're paying for the game. And they're giving you the option to spend more money. It's just, I don't like that. Brandon doesn't like cool things like cutie Pikachus and Eevees. I well, just don't like cool. microtransactions. If there's no microtransactions, which I highly I don't, I don't doubt like there it when be. they block progress like the Harry Potter one. Oh my fucking god, that <laughs> yeah. one's so awful. Your character is being choked out and you have to pay. <laughs> god, that one's an awful one. Fuck. Okay, no, that's pretty. Uh, speaking about games that are going to be ass. No! Take Fallout that back. Fallout 76. Take that no, back I, I right refuse. now. Take that fucking okay. back. Do you Take really think back. Fallout 4 was that good? No, okay. Fallout 4 was okay, right? But Fallout 76. I think it's going to be fucking great, okay? Why? That's because of the leaks, okay? So it's been leaked that Fallout 76 was originally going to be the multiplayer game mode for Fallout 4, right? Mm. And the multiplayer game mode was going <laughs> to be... Fallout 76 is Fallout Battle Royale. No, it's it, it kind of, okay. So the the leak, quote, oh, boy. so one of the people that leaked it was like, quote, unquote, it's a Rust clone, right? And if Fallout... If the people who made Fallout make a open world survival game with 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 what's from been leaked, also with story missions and quest, that's gonna be really fucking cool, in my opinion. If they can pull off making a Rust like game in the Fallout universe, that sounds dope. So I think it's gonna be good. But who knows? I don't know. I had it I had it soured for me by Fallout 4. Just the design. What did you like about so Fallout weird. 4? Um it was basically like they took away the role play elements, you know. So I play Skyrim to play a certain character. I play New Vegas to play like a certain character. Oh, okay. I'll even play like the isometric old Fallout games to play a certain character. Yeah, you know? I never, I never, I never cared about role play elements. See, so I, I felt like I was being forced to be this kid's dad, and it was like, but I want to be a crazy marauding psychopath. You that can still be. do that. You know, yeah, but then you get worked into these, like, story missions where yeah, you're Yeah, like, you just kill everything. Dad. You kill your father. Yeah, but you're like, oh, son, and then shoot. Like, I, I just felt it was very, <laughs> it was tonally, it was tonally off. Yeah, but, I mean, like, if it, it Fallout 76... Like, have you ever seen the thing where it's, like, Agent Hitler, FBI, you know? Yes. <laughs> you're playing a bad character and you have to be good in the campaign? Yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, like, it's still funny, Agent Hitler, FBI. <laughs> also, I'm really irritated by procedural quests. What do you mean? Because, um, so quests that are produced, like, procedurally, like, they're just generated by an Wait, algorithm. Fallout 4 has procedural quest. You didn't know? No, because I, I, I think you. I have like okay, forty so hours. Okay, you know how Garvey's like a settlement needs our help. Oh, okay, I get what you're talking about now. I get what you're talking about now. I thought when yeah. when, I, when we said quest, I was like immediately assumed like go to this location, get this item type of thing. Um, yeah, I get what you're saying, but I don't know if if Fallout seventy six is like Rust or Daisy. I'm looking forward to it because like. As a kid, I fucking love survival type games like that, where you're put into an open world and it's like you versus everyone else. I love games like that. So if Fallout 76 can be like a reboot of that genre, or maybe like a reboot of Rust or DayZ, because like let's let's face it, Rust is like dead, right? And DayZ is dead because the game's still not fucking done, even though it's been four years. So it's been early access for four years. It's been worked on longer than that. So, like, if Rust76 can bring that back, I, I'd be really happy with that. But I appreciate it just made this call. Just you. Yep, sounds about right. You like boring dad games. Diesel, you suck at every game. Okay, Mr. Wait, can I, 
Can we just add on uh, the and D characters as a topic? I think both of you know who each other's characters are. I don't know what Quite's character is. Oh man, Quite, what's ah, your I character save it for the campaign? No. Oh, you want to save it? Okay. Yeah, but everyone knows your character, so um, why why don't we why don't we why don't you just explain who you're playing? You want me to campaign? explain Cognut? I want you to explain <laughs> Cognut. Okay. To the people back home. So we're we we're starting a D and D campaign. Uh, and I've made a character, and his name is Cugnut, and he is an orc, and he's a barbarian, and Cugnut's also a nobleman, because his entire family from Cugnutia was slaughtered, and, <laughs> and, 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 uh, and basically, he's a 22-year-old orc, and he's really fucking stupid, but he's insanely strong, but since he's a nobleman, he can speak three languages. So you have, like, a brain-dead orc running around who's insanely strong named Cugnut, like, fucking Cugnut, and, and uh, he speaks three languages, wasn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, common, orcish, and elvish, correct? Yes, yes, common, orcish, and elvish. You can say elvish. shag your mom in Spanish. <laughs> pretty much. So it's just a really interesting character because it's just like, oh, it, how tall was he? He's a 6'8"? Right, okay. I I just went and I pulled up his character sheet. Yeah, I don't so, have the character sheet on me. Yeah, so. he he is the prince of Cognutia. Yeah. Um, his his war band was killed by an army of rogue turtles. Oh yeah, like this. <laughs> and now uh, Cugnut hates turtles, and he'll kill them when he sees them, or at least try to. Yes. So Cugnut has a strength of twenty two, which is crazy, <laughs> and he has an intelligence of one. <laughs> <laughs> just to be yeah, clear, that, me that, that's just that's me crazy. Never played D D. Yeah, since I was a, cause like I, I picked barbarian and like he's just like, oh, your character's an intelligence, so I just put him all in the strength. <laughs> yeah, I, I I let him do point by instead of roll, cause he like had all these ideas he wanted to put the paper, and nobody <laughs> else was like, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm like, okay, we'll just roll. So Brandon's character is the only one that can really do any damage and take damage. In I mean, fact, yeah. Brandon's character is combat wise probably the most effective character um <laughs> like I mean, bar none he can <laughs> decimate people from the start and I, and I made sure to include his backstory so i have a feeling we'll do recaps of the campaign once we start um yeah but he he hates he hates big turtle men and he yeah. attacks them wherever he sees them yeah because they slaughtered his family yes so I, yeah i can't believe this is this is such a brandon character is thing, you know? <laughs> just to be clear me and brandon have never played a single campaign of D D. yeah we were making the character and i'm like i want to name him something orcish and like i just like cug <laughs> i i won't explain Cugnut. quite's character at all aside from quite might as well have just named his character quite oh yeah. all right. <laughs> great leave me alone great i couldn't think of anything else yeah, his character picture is also just a picture of himself, or him with the gun pointing at the. the you chose. You chose that. That wasn't I me. Did, I did choose that because it's such a funny picture. <laughs> it's a Nerf gun. So but yeah, yeah, and then uh, who else are we plan to get on board? Wasn't it Mac and um, Anna? Mac and Anna. Oh, there's okay. the Mac mention for the cast. Yeah, there's the Mac mention. There you, you go. Listen to the podcast. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I don't that know today. if he does. I hope he does because we're acknowledging his existence. You know, I know. That's a, that's a I know. Anna luxury. listens to the podcast at work. There you go. This, She's listening to the best podcast in the universe. No, only podcast. Only podcast. This is the only like exists. acknowledgement Mac is ever going to get in media. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mac. <laughs> okay, so is, I think that's all we have to say about Cugnut. <laughs> yeah, that's all we have to say about Cugnut. There'll be more updates in the future in Cugnut and his band of adventurers. Yes, it, it's going to be named after me. <laughs> no, it is not named after C you. Cug Cugnut and his band I of really adventurers. don't know who the leader will be, but one of you will just naturally become the leader of the group. It's you definitely going to be Cugnut. Happens. No, Cugnut can't. He can bear. I'm going to make you roll. To see if you can actually speak. No, Cugnut can points. talk. He speaks three different languages. You can't make him not talk. He's, yeah, he's but I'm a, gonna have to make you he's roll for it. He's gonna have to be. He's gonna have to be. Like, oh, oh, you mean like when he's interacting with people? Y yes. Like, okay. You yeah. Go that to makes speak sense. to like an innkeeper, and I'll be like, "All right, Cugnut, uh, roll intelligence." Yeah, it's not gonna so, work. Like I just rolled intelligence. 
and the and you got a one and you needed a nine. Yeah, see, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to get the intelligence up. But like <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think you should bother putting any more points into intelligence. You're kidding. I, I mean I think you should just go full stupid. <laughs> you think I should full go stupid? You think I should go like full stupid brute and just like roll with it? I mean, I, I can't tell you how to play your character, but But like, okay. In theory, could someone like always speak for me on the team? Um, depends. Like, let's say you're talking to a noble. You're the only one that can get in to see that noble. So, so I should raise my intelligence. <laughs> I'm not saying you should. You know, you should innately understand how to speak to the nobles. You, you are a nobleman. Uh, that's true. I mean, I guess yeah, that's true. But, but I will make you roll for it. But that doesn't make any sense <laughs> because I'm a nobleman. Like, I could be like, hmm, this, this seems like a, this seems like. You need to try and persuade someone or like, uh, oh, that, well, that's charisma. I mean, you got a zero in charisma, so Charisma's yeah, okay. it's not really going to make a difference. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? You rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. You don't even know what that means. I mean, in charisma? Um, I mean, to roll a natural 20 in charisma and not have an advantage, that's that's pretty good. Okay. But yeah, so D&D is a cute, cute thing. We're Speak- not going to do anything with the campaign publicly, though. This is... Get them to learn. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it on the podcast because we've never played before. Okay, now speaking of Cugnut, um, do you just take it away? Speaking, what do you mean speaking of Cug? That's oh, how every segue we- goes. It's like you say speaking of speaking blank, of and then Cugnut, you say it. Battlefield Wee Man. See, it worked. Uh, have have you guys seen the controversy of Battlefield? I have, podcast and I just want to say the controversy to start it off. Uh, it's fucking stupid. Okay, Diesel, go. Oh, I mean, that's really that's really all I was gonna say. Oh, is the okay. Controversy well, explain stupid, it. But I was explain explain it. what the controversy yeah, ex- is. Explain it. So the cover Battlefield Five has a woman on it, and the game's taking place in an alternate history World War II, and people were like, "This is not historically accurate." But um, n- no shit. When was Battlefield ever historically accurate? When? You could fly tanks into the sky and shoot down fucking fighter jets. Has that ever dude, happened? Battlefield 2140- Dude, dude, Battlefield 2142 is super accurate. Honestly, I think that one's more accurate. Yeah, and then, like, the woman- Like, no one's like, oh my god, that woman has a prosthetic arm that, like, that moves with her. You know, no one's focusing on that. They're focusing on the fact that she's a fucking woman. Who cares? Who fucking cares? <laughs> yeah, so people are, like, super heated in the comment- Like, in the comments of the reveal trailer. And it's like, it's not even a historically accurate game, so who the fuck cares if it's a woman? Like, really? How is that even going to impact gameplay? No, it's not trying to be historically accurate at all, which is why it's dumb. Like, the setting- It's supposed to be an alternate timeline or some shit. Yeah, something like that. So it's like, it's World War II based- Who cares? But it's like, it's like, if games didn't twist it up a little bit, you'd get bored. (laughs) Like, seriously. Like, God, it's just a female in the game, guys. Jesus. It's not oh my god, it sounds like you guys are a bunch of soy boys. <laughs> Shut the well, fuck sorry. up, Sorry, everyone's upset because there's a fucking girl in it. <laughs> I mean, like, I am the least PC person on this podcast, in my opinion. If yeah. we're gonna label anybody as, like, Yeah, you're definitely least PC. Or PC. Yeah, yeah I, I deliberately go against that on purpose to piss off people. That are always touting for like females in games, females in games. Yeah. But like, if they just chose to have a female in a shooter game, like, that literally doesn't even affect the mechanics of the game. And then who plays Battlefield for the fucking story? Are you kidding me? Those campaigns me? are awful. Are you kidding me, bro? The campaigns yeah. are great. Right, the only funny thing that the the funny thing that came out of this is like the deluxe edition has a dude on it. <laughs> <Woof>. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, but the amount of dislikes on this is ridiculous. Yeah, it reminds me of, like, the COD trailer, and it's like, why? I don't get, like, I feel like Battlefield and COD have reached a point where they didn't deliver what the people wanted enough to where, like, it's like, their reputation will always just stay this low, you know? Because it's like, I don't know, COD doesn't feel the same anymore. Every iteration that comes out just doesn't feel the same. Um, Battlefield kind of just... Battlefield also doesn't feel the same. Like, I, I haven't played... Uh, I haven't really, really enjoyed a Battlefield game since 4. Um, and even then, like, 4 was, like, not as good as 3, in my opinion. So it's like, who cares? I am. I just watched the trailer, and at one point, uh, the character slides with an LMG, yeah. shoots a bomb in the middle of the air, and blows up an airplane. That happened before. Historically accurate. Wow. wow. But, like... The like to dislike ratio on this trailer is absolutely ridiculous. How People high are like, is it? oh, hashtag not my battlefield. 
How high is it? And, like, oh, and then absolute side note: um, if you're calling people sexist for not liking this game, you're just as bad. Like yeah. they're allowed to not like it, but I just think they have a stupid reason for not liking it. Doesn't make them sexist. Yeah, if they if they if I mean like if they're just like I don't like the the setting, it's like sexist. No, <laughs> just how it works. <laughs> it's like people were like, I want a World War Two game, but they're like, I'm angry that the guy has a robot arm and a katana. Like, <laughs> video games, like. Fuck me, I want everything to have a robot arm and a katana. <laughs> Not everything. Well, I mean, tonally, it should work. Like, it should just work tonally. But yeah. again, if it's not going to work and it's going to clash, then yeah. But I don't really see it clashing with, like, a game like Battlefield. No, it's not. It's just there. Same thing with all the future stuff in COD. Like, like it could be a fucking space alien. Like, and it would still work fine. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. People don't know what they want from video games, from all I see. Yeah. People it's been... like, they want one thing, and then they're like, I want originality. They get originality. I want the original, I want the old stuff back. And it's like, I want the originality of want? the old stuff. The Battlefield women. You gotta respect the women. Okay, Diesel, let that conclude. God, these comments are cancer. Let's just Oh my god, this. we're gonna read comments? No, I don't want to read comments. They give me AIDS. Okay, then do the outro. Okay, so if you'd like to give us AIDS, I forget how to do an outro for this show. This is really bad. Oh my god. These will just, okay, like, you tell people to subscribe, tell people to like, you tell people to review it, you tell people to follow, like, things like that. Go, go on. Hey, if you, if you like this podcast, you should like it. And if you haven't subscribed, you should do so. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at loudmouse underscore. And uh, listen on iTunes, Spotify, not on Spotify, we're, we're broke. <laughs> uh, SoundCloud. Where where else are we? I don't know. That's where it. Else. YouTube, SoundCloud, That's Spotify. It. Not Spotify. Yeah, YouTube, SoundCloud, Not iTunes. Fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, it's your fault. You brought Spotify into the mix. <laughs> we can't afford to put it there yet. <laughs> anyway, make sure to follow us if you want to get. Leave to a that review. Point. Leave a comment. All that shit. Leave leave a review on iTunes as well. We'll we'll read them in a future episode. Yep. Okay, Maybe. Diesel. That's it. You're good.